I mean, at least from this angle, my hair looks real good back there. Oh, shh. <laughs> this um, is why I'm here. <laughs> this is why I'm here. Because cause why? Because you Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Oh, shh. <laughs> uh, Tweedled... I don't know. <laughs> God, dude. <yeah. laughs> <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Malibu Nights with your host, H.B. Trashley, and who is that over there? I don't know who is it. I am the man behind the curtain, (gasps) or the woman in this instance. The Wizard of Oz? Yeah. Someone needed to come and bring some reason to this. Podcast. Oh, shh. Sh- <laughs> so it's are? me. I'm the producer. Remember, you guys would always yell at me. Oh mm. yeah, like, like our bitch. <laughs> that lady. <laughs> I was the one who was yelling at them in the background, being oh. like, "You idiots! What did you just say?" <laughs> Taking oh. a new a new road here, huh? Yeah. Did you invite her? <laughs> I. Hey. <laughs> She's the producer. She made the call. I, I, I just I work get to here. do what I want to do. I just work, <laughs> just work here. here. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So I'm here. I don't know what you want to call me. Do you want to call me Auntie TB? I think we can call you both. I feel like yeah. Auntie's gonna come out the most yeah. frequent. <laughs> all right, because I am the Auntie, and that's kind of what we have all become to know me by. So yeah, yeah we'll see how it goes. But I'm Auntie. Hi, everybody. Yeah, right here. Auntie needs a Malibu diet. Uh, Trash Oh, my gosh. We all so, got one. So, HB Trashley and Auntie. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know about that yet. <laughs> I don't approve. <laughs> night, night. Crack a cold one. one. <laughs> and I yeah, get which, real drunk. Uh, Just show with. Tweedledee and Tweedledum, I see why they needed me. You just gotta have someone with the voice of reason coming in. What's uh, <laughs> what's the plan? Who's gonna introduce this first segment we got going on? Oh my goodness. But I was a little nervous at first to have Auntie there with us. Didn't know if she was gonna pull her producer on us too much, but it went pretty good. Well, <laughs> things are different here, first of all. They are. Uh, more so than just a new host on the show, but we've got new segments, uh, a whole new setup of this show, to be honest. You know, we tried to get Andy Cohen to step in on the podcast as our third person, and he would bring the order, but I guess Auntie will work for now. Things are changing, okay? We're getting, we're getting professional over here. If yeah. you're not changing, you're not learning, you're not growing. Yeah, you gotta grow. Forward. You know, they say go with the the flow. I say grow with the flow. Grow with the flow. (laughs) Grow with the flow. Sounds a little gross. Yeah, (laughs) I'm like, I. This is why they get into trouble. (laughs) I don't. (laughs) I I, I liked it. Oh, jeez. Some of the things that come out of their mouth, I don't think they actually think before they speak. (laughs) (sighs) Growing. A lot of head shaking will be happening. Believe. Grower and a shower. So we've all kind of <laughs> chatted <laughs> about what we wanted to do. Just go over that one. Don't want to. Okay. So you're going to keep some of the, the old fun and what you guys were doing, but we're just going to do it in a different way. Mm. Right? Yes. Essentially. Yes. Canceling our fun. We'll be having cake stands later. <laughs> yeah, so, catch so. us at the frat. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's yeah, are you guys dark. still in Vegas? Yeah, we Always. are. Uh huh. I'm just, just I'm in my suite over over at the Aria right now. Yeah. We're at the Bellagio. Yeah. I do like a good Bellagio. Had to yeah. get our points in, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. So. Oh, I'm not so far what's away his, from you. <laughs> what's this first segment gonna be titled? Uh, oh my goodness! Well, <laughs> shoot, we got Scuttlebuzz coming up. Scuttlebuzz. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
We've all heard yeah. of Scuttlebutt, right? Is that from the Like movie? the gossip, no, the oh. movie. Oh, are you thinking Little Mermaid? Yeah, because one of my students. That's Scuttle. <laughs> Isn't his name Scuttle? I think he has a song, though, yeah. called Scuttlebutt. Yeah, he something. has a song, Scuttle I've Butt. I've never heard of this song. One of my students always sings it. That's his favorite song. Okay, uh. word on the street is it's like Scuttlebutt, what's gossip, right? But okay. we wanted to do buzz because what are you drinking? Uh. So we're going to talk about the current, like what's going on and then what you guys are drinking, what we're all drinking. Shoot, I love it. What's going on? What are you drinking? <laughs> <laughs> well, Any, today- any boo-boo tonight? No, today, no? Boo-Boo is not drinking the Boo-Boo. All right, that's all right. Boo-Boo is drinking some Lover Boy uh, from, from our friends Kyle and Amanda. Oh, my gosh. And Carl, right? And Carl. I'm not drinking his non-alcoholic shit, uh, though. I don't need that. I will. I'll try it for sure. I like I mean, a good I, mocktail. And I a, try it, too. Yeah, I guess we can get you some. I'm not they have come out. that shit. With so many non-alcoholic drinks now. Well, you guys know why, right? It's the new normal. It's like the new yeah. people want to be it's healthy. Like, and- there's a new trend going on. Like It's kind of like, and you got to look at it as like smoking was back in the yeah. 90s. When I mean, I remember going to restaurants and there was a smoking section and a non-smoking section. Do you remember that, HB? Exactly. He was <laughs> It was probably end. Still. Yeah, it was probably at the end of your... When you were coming out, but maybe he was just the thought. When I was coming out. Of the <laughs> well, womb? not like li- not literally, you idiot. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, popping out of my idiot. popping out of the hoo ha, and here comes no more smoking. I brought that change. That was me. Oh God. So I think it's like the new. Uh, no smoking. It's like the yeah. drinking. So there's mocktails and drinks and like it's just not as cool. Cooler now, just non-alcoholic. It's weird. Yeah, I don't. Really? I'm drinking uptime. Yep, same. No cocktail tonight. Just a little zero sugar energy drink. They love us. The uptime. Uh, we do love uptime. Uh, I got a sweet sweatshirt from them. You know. I don't even know what the hell's going on over here anymore. So what, I was the only one who was having an alcoholic beverage on the show, okay? I don't have a problem. They just don't know how to have fun. Well, it'll be ill change, but I I like a good mocktail, so. I'll be drinking a (laughs) stiff one next time. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Going back to this bullshit. Uh Uh-oh. Hey, I'm just trying to be healthy. (laughs) Yeah. What a yeah. sham I was. Oh, my goodness. But, yes, so we got our drinks. Yep. How about cheers. Uh, cheers. Cheers. Virtual cheers. Yes. I'm yes. oh, sorry. I'm tapped by now. Cheers. 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 Bitches. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are not bitches. Bitches. Oh, I'm These two are bitches. Two. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were calling everyone <laughs> out there. No. That's not nice. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so... I, I think we all know a little bit of hot goss going on around the the, the block right now. What's going on? Uh, shoot. Brittany and Justin. Oh. oh, he's got a new bop. I'm digging it. Okay. I told I, you. Well. I told y'all I didn't like it. I yep. knew you would. I said, I said, it's not my fave JT song, mm-hmm. which it's not. It's not my fave JT song. But I never it, said it's, that. It's like a it's like a subtle bop, you know. It's it's. I, I wouldn't say soft. banger because it's not like, like in your face, but it's like a I can groove to it a little bit, you know. But what's it about? Getting think, jealous. Yeah, I think but like, like everybody on TikTok, like the girls are just like, oh my gosh. Well, people understand. are coming up with weird conspiracies around it. Like somehow it's connected to Britney, but I don't think it is. I don't. I, I don't either. either. No inclination of that whatsoever when I'm listening to it. I think it's like about like being obsessed with his wife and like Mm -hmm. getting jealous when other people look at her or he doesn't get to spend all his time with her. Like, you know, it's a love song to his wife, in my opinion, but. And then her post in her video, that was adorable. (laughs) Yeah, they're cute. No, I like it. Did you see him on SNL? Anyone? 
No, I was going to, that popped up on my, what was that on? Netflix? No. Peacock? The cack, yeah. Ah, the cack. It was the cack. I still watch uh, SNL, so I am in, just always having hope. (laughs) Yeah. Did you watch this, this episode? I did. Wa- I actually watched it live, and I haven't watched one live for a while because wow. I wanted Jimmy and JT. I wish he would have been the the host. Oh, he I wasn't. Know. Nah, he was a musical guest. But they did the Gibbs thing. <gasps> so Jimmy was on it. Yeah, he came out in the monologue. You haven't seen anything? Oh my gosh, you gotta watch I it. I saw. Either. I saw a part of the monologue with Justin and, uh, and Dakota uh, Johnson. Dakota Johnson, but um. I didn't watch the full thing. Um, no, he I saw came when he out. came out because everybody was talking talking ish about him coming out in the middle of her monologue. I um, thought it was cool. I mean, the guy's been on there what ten times hosting. He's been the host five. Five this... was it five? Yeah. Justin Timberlake. Oh. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Where? Who, what? Who are you talking what? about? Brittany. Yeah. Uh, I thought he said ten in the background. I thought he went like this in the background but I think maybe maybe that five. means like five timers club or something like, maybe you know. yeah 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 i didn't look huh. into it but and then but, jimmy came out dressed as gib barry <laughs> talking it up yeah it was great i mean i'm the very gib talk show <laughs> it was they actually talked about uh bluey in the skit oh. and how bluey, bluey? and how uh grown men cry at bluey like it's it was funny okay. it, it, For real life. like it was funny yeah Oh my God! You have was to watch the it. Only, was that the only That's, skit that Jimmy was in? Yeah, I think it was the only one that JT was in. I was gonna say the only thing I saw was his performance of Selfish and the, Sanctify. Just a little bit of the monologue. Sanctify is a a bop too. I mean, it was good. Sanctify is, is that out like to stream? Uh, I feel like I just saw it. I did see the SNL thing on YouTube with okay. Sanctify on it. It was good. Which one do you like better, selfish or sanctified? Selfish, but yeah. I do like, I do like sanctified too. When does this new album drop? I don't know that answer. Oh, it'll be uh, a surprise. March. I don't know. I just don't know. I didn't look into March? it. March. Yeah, it drops in March, I believe. Well, or at least tickets go on sale for his tour in March. So I'm assuming it's oh. either just before that or around the same time. You yeah. gonna go when he's in Charlotte? He's in Raleigh, so I think I'm going to go in Raleigh. It's like two hours away, but worth it. You need to. Yep. Have you ever seen him? That would be a... I'd like I was going to gonna say, you've I seen him, you right, haven't. Auntie? Yeah, I saw him yeah. on his Mirrors tour, yeah. Oh, in Fargo, a yeah. My mirror. Oh, oh, it, was, one of my it was so good. It was really good. Yeah, because he, he was in Fargo, North Dakota. I almost went to that yeah. one. God. I was I was close to that, that oh. place at the time, so... Dang. Yeah, you need to go. Check him out. He'll be showing in he's, Vegas, I'm sure. We'll go. He's a top, here. like, four bucket list for me. Mm-hmm. He's worth it, in my opinion. So. I wonder when he's going to get a residency. Good question. Oh, now Three he's got this new music. <laughs> Are you guys going to have one someday? They have a big podcast room at the Win. you know that? Yeah, when ours ends. So maybe we'll be at the Wynn. Why do you think we the, film Oz the all the time? Jeez. Not, in yeah. the, not at the Win. Like, oh, yeah, we well, we, we did the past few episodes. Where do you think oh. we were? Undisclosed oh. location at the, the win. <laughs> at the win. Oh, right, right. What's the, what's the title winner. of the room? Uh, mm. HB and Trashley's. Do not enter. Uh, and we're really good friends with Teddy and Tamara, so. That is who filmed there. Uh-huh. I, that, that, that's oh. good. That was good. Two T's in a pod. That's good, one of that's the pods I listened little... to. That's a good I don't know the name of the room that. though. I never paid attention to that. <laughs> um, <laughs> what else is going on this week that Gee. you've heard of or seen? I did see something because uh, I know they're not doing, um, you know, Winter House, right? Uh, That's weird. I yeah. saw that they're going to be doing. They're looking for auditions for Lake House. Uh, Anyone go. see that? No, what? I did, did not you see, see that? Lake House. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, one of the sites that I follow uh, shared that they're looking, they're casting for a Lake House. So I think it must be like a spinoff of like Summer House or Winter House. Going? Which lake? It didn't say that. It said if you and your friends rent a Lake House during the summer ever, like send in auditions, essentially. We go. Well, we've never 
rented a lake house. Well, we rented, yeah, a, wait, wait. We rented a hotel room in Vegas. <laughs> What are we so, going to lie? We're going to be like, yeah, we've been renting this lake house for the past 12 years. and uh, I mean, right? I mean, we could. But I do dig this because, I mean, who? I mean, we've had some fun times at a lake. Banging times. You know, it's really interesting to me how many spinoffs Summer House is getting, even though none of them have performed half as well as Summer House, I feel like. Winter House was close, I think. But yeah. Th- I, f- I feel like this latest season was kind of a flop, but... I didn't. Uh, I liked it. Did so you? I don't know. I, I know you had said that, and I am like, I liked I it. I liked it, too. My boy Kyle's in there. I'm there. I love yeah. Kyle. I Kyle, love Kyle brought the, the energy. Amanda, just... <laughs> not fun. <laughs> was he ninja chopping the watermelons in the, this one? I don't remember got that. There? Fruit ninja? I, I, don't, I think uh, so. I love him. He's my hero. And I get Amanda was sick, but it was also just like she didn't want to be there, which bugged me a little bit. I like, disagree. I thought she wanted to be there. I feel like at the end she was like, I'm out. Bye. Well, yeah, she wanted to go see her puppy. She said that. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're gone for <laughs> You'd a week You'd want to go see Derek dogs. if he was living with you. Derek's not my dog, so well, no. Well, if he was. Who's Derek? It's one of his rental <laughs> dogs. Rentals. Oh, okay. Or whatever. <laughs> Rover dogs. We, we, yeah, we there you go. We sit him. Little bird, pretty bird, pretty bird. That's what I want to say to them. Trashley and I know how to have a good time, okay? <laughs> Sue us. He's the cutest little chuck. He had a seizure. Oh, poor Derek. What oh did you think God. about Jig? Jig? I sent you Jig a picture of Jig. was very cute, but I don't need him. Okay. Not yeah, I'm glad that. you guys took me out of that group chat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah, matter. You don't appreciate the lost puppies. No. Benji. I don't. <laughs> they send me these chats, and I'm like, uh-uh. You guys, this is just Ignore. for fun. Yeah, bye-bye. <laughs> Whatever. <up>. Canceled. <laughs> Not a what else is on the scuttlebuzz? Shoot, I don't really have a whole lot, I feel like. I mean, I, I've seen some some different celeb news, I guess, but Taylor well, Swift, Travis Kelsey, yeah. all over the news again. Why are again. people trying to cancel her? Like, they're they, saying it's a, it's a manipulated um, jealousy s- storyline or something. I don't remember what I, I read. I, I don't fully understand it i think it's just something to do with they hate seeing people succeed mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, i mean we've seen that firsthand it <laughs> blows my mind that's true that's true so. it's it's really weird though because like i don't think taylor goes to these games looking for cameras to be filming her from the stands no. i don't think she's there to get I agree. publicity she gets publicity doing everything else in her life like She's literally just there supporting her boyfriend. Like, let her be. Now, Brittany, though. Oofta. Brittany Mahomes, is that her name? Yeah. <laughs> She's there to, like, be on that camera. Look at me. <laughs> I mean, Brittany it's got to be kind of cool, but... Huh? It's got to be kind of cool having... Well, after how many Swift times? Swift there, but, uh, yeah. No, I think T, T. Swift is very respectful Yeah. at I... these games. Yeah. Uh, I like her. I like how she walked away. I know. When the brothers were having yeah. a minute. And uh, like followed followed Mama Kelsey. Like so I'll do cool. what she wants She's to like, do. Like she said, Do we have do we have a dad? Where <laughs> and then uh Donna was like, We have a Jason. <laughs> He's gone. Oh. <laughs> it was so cute. I just think it's cool. I love it for them. So Yeah. You know, and I'm I really am not team football or team Taylor, but I love them both. I think it's I, great. I'm rooting for them. I think I, I am too. I think they're end game. No pun intended. Taylor's uh, version of reputation is coming out soon. What is their name? Kelsey? Trailer. Trailer. <laughs> trailer. I, like I think it. they're calling it Trailer, and then they had another one too, right? Yeah. Uh, Tavis. Tavis. Yeah. Mm, I like Trailer. I think it's their own love story. I really do. I love it for them. Just so me yo, take me somewhere we can be alone. I love it. I think they're both classy humans. I do too. She's growing I, on me. I was not a fan. Yep. For I no respect reason. I respect the hustle on both of them and we and had the an episode drop 
a few weeks back mm -hmm. where we talked ish about Taylor. Oh yeah. no, karma! And, you were karma. karma. Yeah, karma. and I am a full blown Swifty now. There's not a I... day that goes by where I don't hear at least three Taylor Swift songs in my playlist. That's crazy. I I would be one too. I'd I go see her. Oh yeah, I would too. I would too. I'm pissed I didn't go to the Eras tour. <laughs> don't say that out loud. I'm go I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to Japan. <laughs> Is she going to be back in time for the Super Bowl, though? She could take I a would. private jet and time travel. Will she do it? What do you mean she's her show be will gone? be... She's supposed to be in Japan, right? And She's got a oh, show the night no. before. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is big. It's huge. Yeah. This is so big. People are, people are wondering what she's going to do, you know? she's mm -hmm. She obviously could take a plane right after her 8 p.m. show in Japan the night before and get to Vegas, you know, in the morning on Sunday or whatever. But, oh man, Vegas is going to be hopping. Oof, oh, they've Lord. they've added flights for uh I think it was United flights, but they added the numbers to be flight 1989 and flight 87. Oh boy. Taylor Swift That's... 1989, yeah, Travis Kelsey it. 87, like yeah. So cool. I Smart. dig it. I'm yeah, rooms are crazy expensive there right now. Are they? Yeah. I believe it. I have, a, I have a friend who's going. Oh, that's right. Pal. We're there right now, actually. We, we're... Well, yeah, but we're going to be coming home then. You are? Yeah. Oh, Just for a quick stint, okay. you know, we got to go okay. visit. Yeah, I got to go catch Taylor's show and then hop back on her private jet and fly yeah. back for the Super Bowl. So. so you have somebody that's really going. Yeah, Shaner. Oh. Course, for the he Super always Bowl? goes. He usually always goes. I don't think he's going to the game. He just goes to during that time. Where's he staying? Like he goes to where the Super Bowl is? No. Well, Vegas. Oh. <laughs> no. They've gone every year for a couple years. I feel like. Um, I'd go if somebody bought it for me. <laughs> <laughs> we know or, you would, Trashley. <laughs> but the flights out of uh, where he's coming from are actually pretty cheap, for the first time in a long time. He said. Well, that's nice. The, who's coming from? That Shane is. What? He'll be hey, oh. do you, are um. you like here with us in the convo or? Yeah, where Travis Kelsey is flying from. Flights are cheap. Like what, who did you think we were talking about? I don't Nine -nine. know. Oh my god. Anyways. Gosh. So that was fun. I'm excited for Usher about that show. Usher baby. Usher baby. Krista Horton should have picked us for that. Oh, I love him. I want to see him. I, he's on the top of my Well, top we did three. see him. I thought you guys saw him, you bitches. Yeah, we did. Huh? Remember we saw him when we brought Everett? Yeah, you liars. <laughs> when did she tell you that? On his You guys one. both told me. I did not. Yeah, when you guys came back from that trip, you both were like, yeah, we saw him. I mean, I probably did. You must have been wasted, because I don't remember saying <laughs> that. <laughs> what? But then I said it on his Facebook, or his live, I said it one time. Oh, Yeah, no. you did. You say it all the time. You're like, I saw him. <laughs> I didn't oh. see Ursha Baby, but I'm going to see Ursha Baby someday. Mm-hmm. We were close. I mean, that, Baby. that's going to be a good halftime mm -hmm. show, I feel like. I agree. I agree. Do you think that if Taylor made it there, she would just pop up and... No. Okay. No. Because could you imagine what the headlines would be if Taylor popped into the Super Bowl performance? No. Yeah, she's already After getting ripped being, apart. Like, yeah, that wouldn't be like a welcomed like special guest no. performance. People would be so, so brutally. Weird. Which you know she turned down performing at the halftime show, which is kind of funny now because. It's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, I teach marketing. Like, her boyfriend like is Taylor is marketing one hundred and one. Oh, she's such a genius. What did I just read yeah. about her? There could be a class, a marketing class. There probably already is, but I should make one. Oh, about... I think there. I think I read an article where someone was teaching, like, the, the marketing ways of... I think it's brilliant. Taylor Swift or something. Whoever is doing that, yep. Like, the presidency, whoever Taylor Swift goes, people are going to vote that way or something. I just read that on Instagram. Oh, really? I mean, I... She's pretty good about not like pushing opinions on people moving yeah, on she's up. Here. so what's the <laughs> purpose of our chat today well shoot Anybody? i think we're gonna talk a little reality television i like it 
I love it. Um, I mean, we watch quite a bit. I guess I've always kind of watched it, but I didn't start watching the kind that you watch until like a year kind that, ago. Kind that we watch. <laughs> we yeah. watch like bad reality. Yeah. What? What's? What's the reality. kind that we watch? I watched more competition reality TV. Right. And then you guys watch like the the housewives. And oh, this is them. true. It all took me that. a long time to get into them, actually. Um, but once mm-hmm. I did, and we can talk about that another day. But what's one of the first reality shows you guys remember watching ever? Yeah, me go first. I don't know. I think Real World. Yep. Roller mm-hmm. Rolls. Yep. Um, and then. Would you count like that mom swap? I feel like that would be a, a I would reality watch show all the time. Yeah, I did too. I and I believed it. it. How fake was it though? So fake. I'm not gonna switch places yeah. with a mom. Was it? No. I feel like it, yeah, there was yeah. some scripted. You think it was fake? Yeah, I do. I think there was some scripted stuff. It's always scripted reality, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's valid. I mean, they got to give them pointers, right? Just, I would never want another. But I don't. I guess they probably weren't living with the other family. That's a little. <laughs> yeah, it just seems like so uh, far fetched. Fatal attraction <laughs> stuff. Like, and then they'd be like, "I'm leaving." Like, okay. Like, what are the odds yeah. of one of them having an affair? Oh. I mean, I wonder if so it like ever doing happened. The mom swap, <laughs> and oh then God. it's like, "I'm not leaving." Yikes! I didn't even think about that. Yeah, those are like some that popped up. Like I loved Real World. Ugh. Crack cold oh. one. Real World. I feel like it, I can't remember the character. HB wasn't even. Oh. Real World started in '92 because that's what I remember. You know, so I yeah. would have been. I was born in '82, so I'd have been ten. I mean, I wasn't. I don't think I was watching it at ten, but. Real World, the first reality show we've seen. Boo boo, you weren't there for it. You are too young. Suck it up. Deal with it. These two are always coming at me, telling me, oh, you're too young. You wouldn't remember this, okay? You weren't alive for that. Okay, and I'd rather be young than old. <laughs> Haven't even hit my quarter life crisis yet, so. <laughs> I. <laughs> We might have been. How long did it go on, though? It went on forever, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was in a, a lot of cities, Real World was. But it started in New York. Um, and I remember Road Rules, too, because they went on a trip yes. in one of the Real Worlds. And then it kind of became mm. like a spinoff show. But, mm. you know, before MTV was all videos. And then all of a sudden, to me, this is where reality started. Yeah. Like, for yeah. me. But I know, like, you know, Candid Camera was considered reality back in the day oh. and different there is some different things that were considered reality but for me that was my first experience was real mm-hmm. world and road rules which makes sense we're sisters i don't know if anyone if we've told anybody that Shouldn't but told them that <laughs> oh my god who do you think's older now they know oh my gosh <laughs> me. uh anyway so yeah that was it'll be real world went on until 2017 on mtv that it's crazy. 2017, really? That's a long, that time. A long time. I was going to say, like, I remember wow. it being on MTV. I went through a big MTV phase, but I feel like Real World isn't one of the shows that I, like, got into. Oh. Catfish was more my speed no. on MTV. Was, like, would Teen Mom be considered reality? Yep, 100%. Yep. That's what, but that was later in my life. I was just watching that up until recently, and I'm like, what are you I doing? I I, like... Just uh, stop. Mom. Yes. 16 and... <laughs> They're still yes. going. Yes. <laughs> Team Mom 2 and Team Mom. I'm like... Sarah's mom. That's crazy. Did you see her music video she did? I sent it to you. Remember? <laughs> oh, yeah, you did. Sarah, Sarah Abram. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, meow. Did you see the music that, video? I think she I did? have. She she tweeted me once. No. Farrah's mom? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Or like the the mom, the teen mom. Oh, oh Farrah. Farrah? Mm-hmm. I feel, honestly, I feel bad Wait. for how they grew up. I feel really bad. 
Uh, and Sophia. Well, I mean, yeah. how are you ever going to be normal? You're not. You take a situation that's already stressful and, like, crazy, and then you add, like, the reality television world on top of it with everybody watching and judging. Like, I... oh, my God. Yeah, I can't imagine. And then there's, like, TLC shows, like wedding story wasn't that a baby story oh my god you're bringing some i don't think i watched a lot of those no I no just, but i remember them my strange addiction yeah and then there's orders. hoarders is that sort of a not really but no it's yeah it's all reality kind of it's real life essentially to me reality is some sort of real life like house hunters yeah. to me is a little bit of real life but yeah. there's always how much is scripted how much is produced you know, I don't know that fully. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, because then like, what would you consider like a uh, like a uh, uh, what was that show that Thai that Thai guy Extreme was on? Extreme Makeover like, home, home Edition. Extreme Makeover, yeah. yeah. Like, is that reality or is that like like game show? Like, what? I think I don't it's even reality. Know how to I do too because it's something that's happening to actual people. A family, yeah. They look for a family scripted, that probably, but yeah. I mean, what isn't? Yeah. I don't know anymore. That's probably one of the more early ones that I watched, but Big Brother was probably like the first real reality TV show I remember watching. But I mean, there's so many that it's like I was watching reality TV before I knew I was watching reality mm -hmm. TV on some of these things, you know. Which is valid. Because yeah. you can even open this up to like competition shows like American Idol and things, too. you know. That's true. Like, that's obviously more of its own niche, but it's still pretty reality, especially in those early seasons. Like, they didn't have as much of a structure in season one and on with Kelly. And, mm -hmm. I think Survivor was you know. before Big Brother, Ooh, if I'm not mistaken. I, I might have watched that show maybe once. What's the one where they, like, battle with the american gladiators is that reality oh i don't know that would maybe yeah. be competition too i american don't Ninja yeah no, i guess i don't know yeah i don't know if those are considered game shows what's or the one show where they would like, get like hurt and injured and it was funny fear factor oh fear factor. absolutely oh, not america's funniest home videos i remember fear factor i mean yeah okay i was today years old <laughs> maybe not today but like yesterday years old when i found out joe rogan was the host of fear factor who's that isn't he the survivor host no oh. <laughs> sorry i'm not as joe smart rogan as i is, look he he hosts that podcast that's like super oh, controversial yeah, yeah, yeah. no i don't know i don't know him I know who you're talking about, but he's the host of Fear Factor. Well, he was putting people in with the I knew him then. The scorpions and sh who would ever want to sign up to do that sh stuff? No, absolutely <laughs> not. I don't even like when they do it Crazy. on Jimmy Fallon. Mm -mm. <laughs> like the hands in yeah. the box or mm -mm. whatever. Yeah. Oh nope. gosh, you couldn't pay me. Oh, you might be able to you pay. You pay might you? be able to you pay, me. pay me. <laughs> You couldn't pay me. Pay me. Pay me. I'm going to PMS. <laughs> Did you just say PMS? Uh, you know, sometimes it's just best to just, just be quiet. I don't know what he <laughs> yeah, said. Yeah, because she said pay. Pay me. Pay. pay me. She didn't say pay. She said pay. Oh, my oh. gosh. <laughs> Oh, for sure, there, bud. Yeah, let's keep doing that. <laughs> All right, well, hmm. kick him off the hmm. podcast. <laughs> you get a, okay. You get a one episode penalty. <laughs> what? What? Um, you know what's funny is I've. Uh, real world has come back up in my brain because of some of the people I've heard are on Traders, oh. and I don't watch Traders, but I've heard some of the people in Trishel. <gasps> um, I think she was in Vegas, if I, I remember her. Wait a she minute, she was a wasted little hoe. <laughs> Trishel, Wait a minute. What? that's so interesting because yeah. they don't even put that. I I watch Traders. Yes, so I know you do. They must be on other reality shows currently, huh? 
Uh, or like in the past, because I feel like CT was always on like the challenge, or was he on a real oh world? Oh my too? god, that's what it Dude, is. Challenge. That's what it is. The real world and the challenge are like almost one in yeah. the same. Tons of the people yeah. on the challenge yes. came from yes. the real yep. world. That makes sense because CT oh, and yeah. her have beef. <laughs> yeah, so Trichelle? Trichelle, yeah, you'd remember if you saw her I face. Watch that tonight. Yeah. <sighs> so I haven't watched Traders, but it like brings together the whole like reality universe uh-huh. oh my god i Which is funny i'm gonna make a statement here. Oh, are yeah. you because this is i think Uh-oh. i like traders more than the current day big brother <laughs> seasons do they compete and stuff yeah it's a competition show but it's also like a, a mind game Oh, I don't like that like, those things. I do too. I love them. I know Get you do. I there. don't. Basically, basically what it is is you have a house full of all of these reality stars. In the first season, they brought in a couple of normal people like us. <laughs> I'm uh, extraordinary. Like what are you talking we're, about? We're big, normal. You know, <laughs> uh, but just everyday people mixed in with these reality stars, and it's housewives. It's mm. uh, Survivor, Big Brother, MTV stars, yeah. Bachelor stars swimmers That's like cool. i mean just random big name people and uh you've got people who are faithfuls and people who are the traders mm-hmm. so there's like three within the group of 20 whatever that are killing off everybody one by one at night <laughs> and every single night they try to get rid of a trader in a round table talk but then they just end up kicking out each other as faithfuls because they're like you're suspicious you're out of here so it's like a game of clue oh, i love clue i don't yeah i could oh <laughs> i could get on board it reminds me of the saved by the bell episode like oh they're in the mansion the murder yeah you're yeah, bringing me I back could get into it who ended up being the killer there lisa turtle, lisa turtle. Yeah. <laughs> would be lisa <laughs> no i don't know if i'll actually, get actually it'd probably be screwed. yeah to traitors or i don't know Big Brother. I've never seen Big Brother either. But love it. And honestly, it's funny because I watched season one like on a binge because I was a year behind. Mm. Uh, and Brandy. Brandy. Uh, Brandy from Real oh. Housewives Brandy of Glanville. Beverly Hills. Yeah. Yes, she was on it, and she was on Celebrity Big Brother. Mm-hmm. So I knew her from Celebrity Big Brother, and not even Real Housewives, which is. How funny. was she on there? Hot mess. On Traders. Yeah. I love how she just calls everyone out on their bullshit, to be honest. So I I like her hot mess express when she comes in through the station. Like, she just Choo-choo. blows everyone up. She's going through so something right I, now. Yeah, her and Caroline. <gasps> yeah, someone, uh, uh, you can't sue each other, supposedly, is what I've gotten from it. But they went on the ultimate girls trip to Thailand. Okay. And something went down. This was in January of last year is when they recorded it. Um, so this season comes out soon. I don't think it's going to see the light Air. of day. Really? So now Carolyn Manzo, she's a Jersey old Jersey housewife, oh, gee. is suing Bravo Network because supposedly you can't sue each other for assault. Within Bravo? Sec- sexual assault from Brandy <gasps> Glanville. Yeah. I just read the, the um, do what do you call it, the deposition or the... Oh, mm-hmm. my God. The legal. Well, she's got a history of kind of putting hands on people. So she's saying, obviously, it's not true. And Carolyn she went forward to Lisa it. Lisa Vanderpump. Oh, yeah, LVP. She did. Um, but supposedly Bravo has a footage. So I don't know what will come from all this. I feel. Yikes. But I don't think Carolyn's ever like, going to come back do? to Jersey Kiss at her this or point. Something? Uh, yep. Touch her in the no-no square. Yep. <gasps> Like all of the things. It's like joking? Well, you know how Brand you've seen her, so I don't know. She gets drunk. I don't know. She's a drunk. You I mean only people were there were housewives. She is such and, a drunk. Uh, production. So I don't know if we're ever gonna know the truth. I don't know what's gonna happen. She caused all the drama in Big Brother and in mm-hmm. Traders. Like I can a hundred percent see it. And in the ultimate girls trip number one she was in or that one that they were all at the Berkshires. Yeah, didn't her and Tamara make out? Uh, maybe. I yeah. can't remember who she made up with on the couch. She was mad. Oh, yeah. And again, I, I like her, those... but I don't. Right? Some days, she's that like, one she's that like... sunglasses. Yeah, she, that's, <laughs> that's Ashley's gift. Main yeah. meme she's or whatever. one of those villain-like people who you can't help but kind of like. She's a ding-dong. 
really, I think. Yeah. She's going to make the show. I mean, she yeah. made Beverly Hills a couple of couple of seasons, too, so. A hundred percent. I mean, they had her and Omarosa in a Big Brother house. Like, of course, that's going to be great television. Yep. That's funny. Yeah, like, so I don't know amazing. what's going to happen with that. Well, yeah, we'll but this season on Traders, uh, there's a few housewives that I obviously don't watch these shows. Right. Like any of the housewives franchises, to be honest. I've started a few and I've kept up with a lot of them. But uh, on this season, there's Larsa Pippen. Yep. Mm -hmm. Miami. Can't stand her. Can't either. And I don't thoughts? know anything about her, but she's in there with her boyfriend in the Traders game. Marcus. Yeah, I don't yeah. like her. Why is he on Traders? No one else gets their significant I other. I don't know, because the they can't be apart for more than a week. Wow. Like, I sent you that picture of her when she started. No way that that was accurate. That's her. You yeah, need to is. watch the first because I told Tanya. What happened? I said, I really liked her. And she's like, you just wait till the new. It's pretty season. crazy what she's doing. But I did see her watch what happens live, you know, and Andy asked her about why she went and told people. So I don't know. I never know what why to believe. She went and told people about Gertie's cancer. Oh, and she's like, I thought she was saying that she didn't want me to tell the press. And I'm like, well, obviously we don't want to tell the press. <laughs> but I can't imagine. You never know who's going to literally be your traitor in real life in these shows. You know, take it to page six or uh -uh. Uh, TMZ, you know. like. But what are your thoughts on her? I, like, sometimes I really like her and sometimes I'm like, eh, I feel like you, that's not a good friend. But she's honestly pretty smart. Yeah, like, I think she's a hustler. Uh, I think I didn't like her in The Traders because I like one of the traders, and she was okay. hot on The Traders tail, and she's just a know-it-all, and her energy pissed me off. She thinks she's hot shit. I didn't like her. Uh, mm -hmm. But I also haven't watched her franchise, obviously, so I don't know anything about the girl. Yeah, uh, I don't know. You got to do that. And then Salt Lake. They're two of the shorter. Ooh, Salt Lake. Receipts, timelines, oh. screenshots, everything. That was. <laughs> yeah, we got to save that for another episode for sure. Because, I mean, we got yeah. a lot to. I do think, you know, we're going to have to talk about the whole Bravo sphere, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe that can be yeah. the next thing that what we. What is that? Bravo sphere? I've never heard it called that. What? I know. The Bravo universe? Yeah, it's like mm -hmm. the Bravo verse. Bravo sphere. Of, I like that. Of, uh, the all... globe is a sphere. Are you a flat earther? Are you talking to me? No, trash. I don't know what that means. <laughs> like, do you believe it, you that believe the earth is flat, flat earth? or that the earth is round? I think it's round. What <laughs> do you guys believe? <laughs> so that's a sphere. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Should I get the globe out? Um, Hi, <laughs> night. Sometimes Trashley just says some out-of-pocket things, and, you know, I don't like being hard on her, but sometimes she just makes it so easy. But funny, like, this, I'm going to leave you with this one on the reality. Uh, Cameron from Southern Charm yeah. was on Real World San Diego. Mm, I haven't watched Southern Charm enough to know. Oh, that. you gotta hit the Southern Charm. I know HB. Oh you say you God. love it? I love Southern Charm. And you don't. I love Southern Charm. Oh, yeah. It's I... my number two. It's my number two. Summer House, Southern Charm. Okay, I gotta get on it. You know, I've seen way more than you guys have on the the Bravo. The Bravo. Yeah, you have. Yeah. So I've done it all. No, Auntie definitely watches too much reality TV. She, she watches literally every show on Bravo. It's a lot. I like watch yeah. at night when I go night night, and then I'm like, oh, I gotta go back and watch it again. I just got done with Married to Medicine. I'm caught up on that. You like it? I do. Shoot. I really want to meet Simone. I love her and her husband. They're great. I think they're awesome. Oh, yeah. Gosh. So what do you have? One one franchise you haven't seen? Uh, Family Karma and then Shaw's of Sun... I feel like Shaw's of Sunset is a Bravo one too, but it's... I don't know if they're making both of those anymore, but those are the two that I would have left to watch. God dang. But I've watched go, everything girl. else. That's awesome. So we're going to have to talk about that at some point. But I don't know. And I couldn't believe that Auntie 
has seen all the Bravo shows. Minus two, maybe three. I got work to do. They don't always agree with me and they talk behind my back a lot because they're two of a kind. But I'm okay with this. I'm okay being the third wheel. I really am. You know, like the little ducklings. They like to follow me everywhere. Do you have a favorite reality show of all time? Mine would be Housewives. Oof. Yeah. But like, do you have a, like a favorite like franchise? Jersey. Like we don't have to go into detail, but just like pick one. New Jersey. Jersey. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I mean, my favorite housewife would be New York. Mm -hmm. Um, gosh, I don't know if I I could. I don't know if I could pick. Like I sit yeah, it's, and like it's pretty tough. Wait for my housewives. Yeah, I. And this might be a opinion I share next week more so or whatever, but I feel like it's getting a. I don't know some things I don't agree with from the Salt Lake City stuff, mm -hmm. and how oh, how how a fan got on the show. Like I yeah, mm -hmm. I feel like I felt like personally she couldn't watch it. Like I don't know how to explain week. it. Like icky. Yeah, I felt icky about Producers it. Producers are mm -hmm. standing up for their decisions though, and saying they had no clue. So oh, I believe that. No, 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 I do. I believe that the background work wasn't done. Yeah right and yeah. that they should have gotten a little deeper because like how can you how could 100%. how did she get not find that, yeah that far like that's like a scary person yeah. <laughs> when she's stocking houses but. and has security cameras and i'm like this <laughs> night is night. a little deranged night night. like night night. we've got some trauma here mm -hmm. so i Shoot. i don't know i love southern charm i love summer house i love yeah. winter house i love married to medicine love the yachts. Oh, below deck. Oh, you love below deck. Oh, Kate. Big below deck. Do you deck know Kate? Kate? Yeah, she was with the uh, boat daddy. Oh, okay. That's what they call Captain Kate. Lee. The I watched I have so much. Not Katie. Trashly Kate. Though. Katie Flood. Floody is uh, great. Yeah. Yeah, but Kate, she's been on both seasons now of the Traders. Kate's hilarious in below deck. She's someone that you she's would. She's a. She is a. Boss ass bitch. She just says it how it is. She love does. It. That's why you you know you love or hate her. Yeah. What do you do? Love or I hate like her? it. I like the energy. I would really like her, and then I would really not like her. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want to hang out with her too much, but. <laughs> but she's adorable. I mean, she's so pretty. But yeah. What's yours, boo boo? My favorite. I mean, Bravo definitely Summer House, but overall probably Big Brother. I just feel like that's the one I've watched mm -hmm. most consistently and for the longest yeah. time. Favorite. But I guess being... I'm more of a more of a competition reality watcher. What was your favorite Big Brother season? Uh, probably Dan, like ten, yep. I think ten or eleven. And then he came back on 14, one. and now he's on Traders, which is why I love this new season, because he's just, like, my favorite. All but he's people. pissing me off a little bit. <laughs> no. He's not playing the way he should. But that's for another that's day. That's funny. We'll go into depth on some competition reality. Or yeah, something. that's a good idea. Yeah. I won't be having much. Maybe I can be a moderator for that one. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do some homework. <laughs> Ask you guys some questions. Like, I can understand it more. Maybe I could, like, assign, like, a s specific episode or something of something. Yeah, you should. That's a good idea. Then I'll watch it, and maybe you should do that or something. I don't know. Yeah. But I too much to say. <gasps> Shit. <laughs> I love it. I'm, just I'm taking, taking a, a chug. bevy here. Uh, shoot. I mean... Is it time for another segment here? Well, I think, yeah, it'll be the last segment of the show, right? Shoot. Oh, my god. Shoot. Gosh. Well, guys, something new here in the new year on the new season. The new and improved Malibu Nights <laughs> is BYOS. It's not BYOB, okay, which we do also. <laughs> bring, your, bring your own beverage, beer, whatever. Yep. We don't drink Bevy. a lot of beer unless we're doing power hour. Uh... <laughs> But this is bring your own segment, okay? 
And for the first three episodes of this revamped podcast, we're going in order, but then we will be drawing for who decides what the BYOS is. And tonight, I am that lucky individual who got to bring their own segment. And my co-hosts don't know what it is, right? No idea. I thought it was our favorite reality show. That Shoot, was it. nope. Oh, no. But it is related to that because I figured most of our topics would be about this. So we're going to play a little game of which housewife said that. Ooh, interesting. I don't know if I will. House. Oh, no. So I've got a few quotes from some of the big old housewife names. Okay. We need buzzers. Uh, yeah, we do. And it's up to you to say who said it. And if you can say who they said it to, Ugh. bonus point. Okay. Do we just, like, shout it out or? Yeah, whoever okay. the first one to say it. All right, all, all right. All right. So this one should Excuse be me. pretty easy to start. But are you guys ready? Yeah. Ready or not? Wait. Uh, oh, did, did you, you hear, hear that? that? This is the head oh, shaking sh- moment. Shit. I heard it. Okay. But I said that was tacky. First, <laughs> First time I ever heard it, I said that's tacky. Amigo producer didn't like it. <laughs> that and was I me. I said, watch our power hour episode. <laughs> God. We're so naughty. Okay. First up, the quote is, "You're such a." liar camille you're Kyle such Richards. a liar camille yep it's kyle richards to i just camille. had to say it to camille Grammer. Frazier. oh yeah yeah oh no <laughs> oh no <laughs> uh we have <laughs> you can also say the the franchise if you want but uh we've got take a xanax calm down Is that luann do the steps nope was that Lisa Rinna? Erica? No. Ramona. Yep. Really? Ramona. Ramona Singer. To who? Take a Xanax. Calm down. Was it to Kelly Ben Simone? No. <laughs> what about the other one? Aviva Dresser. Oh, yep. she had a prosthetic leg. She's the one who threw her leg <gasps> in one of the episodes. Like, <sighs> literally threw it. Yeah. Iconic. Like, threw it at someone? Like, across the... The restaurant the or it was outside or something. I can't oh, remember. Yeah. It's one of the most iconic uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. memories of Housewives. First of all, that's way better than flipping a table. Jesus. I mean, New York, I love New York, but it was good. Aviva Dressery, that's an old season. That's great. Uh, okay. Prostitution whore. Oh my god. Well, I feel like it's Beverly Hills. Mm. Mm. Uh, Jersey? Yeah. Uh, was it Danielle? No, close. It was to Danielle. Uh, was it Margaret to Danielle? No. Therese? No. Mm-hmm. Was it Teresa to Danielle? I don't think they Teresa got along. Teresa Judice yeah. to Danielle. Right away. Wow. Danielle more. is probably my number two most scary housewife. Who's your first? Monica really? has taken <gasps> place of Danielle. Mm-hmm. Stop. <laughs> Monica is. She's <laughs> cuckoo. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, hmm. What else we You're got here? Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when did you send a little family van for six people? Becky Gumbelson. Is it? Yeah. Yep. To the they were going on yep. a vacation and she's yelling it. <laughs> Is she? Yeah. She, she's a little cuckoo for yeah, Coco like Puffs. Her. She's a boss though. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yep. No, that one. That's an old OC one too. I don't remember. Oh, uh, we got, we got. Who gonna check me, boo? Who gonna check me, boo? Yeah. That's Cherie. Yeah. Cherie, Cherie to I don't know Kenya. To party planner. To party planner. Oh, yeah, yeah, what yeah. What did she say? <laughs> Who gonna check me, boo? <gasps> I probably don't say it even close to how she does it, but her son is gorgeous. Is this, like, new? We got... Gorgeous. What? 
newer Atlanta? No, she was on the beginning and then she's on it now too. She stopped for a little I'm bit. I'm on like eight or yeah, nine. Yeah, you gotta and keep going. Remember. Cherie? <laughs> oh boy. Oh my God. So you gotta finish them not in five summers, maybe. Like, watch one. them and re. Like, yeah. Oh. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we got your blood type is Pinot Grigio. Oh, Ramona. Was that Luann to Ramona? Nope. Sonia? Bethany. Nope. Oh. Carol? Mm -mm. Is it New York? Yep. It's to Ramona, right? Yep. Luann, Sonia. Uh, oh, was it Leah? I don't like nope. Her. Um, who was that other one? Uh, Kristen? Alex? Alex McCord? No. Yeah. No. Kristen, yeah, she was on there. Kelly? Yeah, was it Kelly Benson? It's Kelly. Kelly was on Scary Island. Like Scooby Doo? No. Like, it, they all went to. Uh, I don't like her. Where'd they go? Ball? No, not oh. Polly. There is where they went to the Ultimate Girls Trip here. Or did they go? In oh my God, Bahamas, Bermuda? I can't remember. Bermuda, no. Um, and she like loses her damn mind, and they've uh, they've titled it Scary Island since then. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. So, anyways, you got any more? Um. Yeah, we got your psychotic Jesus jugs. <laughs> That's Tamra. <laughs> no, <laughs> to Alexis, Bellina. Ugh. Yep. And she's yeah. <laughs> I like her. Who? Tamara. I do too. Oh, yeah. I She's thought you on this Alexa. season of Traders, too. Yes. I like her. Yeah. I, I like her a lot. I've always liked her. All right, her one lot. more. You're a slut pig. <laughs> I don't know. Is that Erica? No. Nope. You know who we forgot about New York is Dorinda. Oh, yeah. I love Dorinda. Mm. Is it from Salt Lake City? No. I don't know this one. Honestly, interesting. Melissa Gorga? She wouldn't talk like that. Oh. Are you giving us a timer? <laughs> Dallas? No. no. Was it Beverly Who's Hills? Dallas. Dallas. Is it, it is Beverly Hills. Yeah. You're a, say it again. You're a slut pig? You're a slut pig. Was Sutton? it... Lisa Vanderpump? She wouldn't no. say anything like that. Well, no. Rinna? Erica? Nope. nope. Who, who, so, I said something. There's Dorit, there's... Brandy Glanville? She's involved in the incident. Oh, oh is it... Uh, uh, Kim Richards? Yep. <laughs> to Brandy. Is she Kyle's, like, sister? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. They look a lot alike. Those are hard. Yeah, that one was hard. Yeah. Shoot. But that was fun. There, there was one that I wonder if you would get. I was like, "What the hell?" She said that. Uh, checkmate, bitch. Yeah. Who is that? It's like they won. Checkmate, bitch. I don't that know. That would be Lisa Vanderpump. She said it to who? I'd love her. I know. She said that to... Oh, it doesn't even say. It just says Lisa Vanderpump. Checkmate, bitch. Yeah, she just doesn't, like... She's, oh she's just God, a classy human. in the back. Yeah, she's a classy, broad mm -hmm. LBP is. I love her. I do, too. I do, too. Yeah. We're actually Brandy after this... Brandy slapped her. I was shook. Would you I like can't to believe that shit. I know. Meet us at Paris after this? <gasps> yeah, yes. I guess we could go have a pump teeny. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Maybe Jiggy will be there. They make a mean dirty at the mm -hmm. at Vanderpump Perry and uh, uh, cocktail. Could you try night. a pump teeny? I probably have if one of you got one, but Ugh. I've tried a couple of the cocktails, but I like a dirty there. I bet they make a mean espresso martini there. Oh, I, I would bet they do. I would bet. You should get one there. But anywho, you guys did great. Congratulations. Well, thanks. Well, who won? Yeah, who won? auntie <laughs> yeah, she didn't know 
I yeah, I guess I knew Atlanta. She's and, like, yeah. It was yeah. pretty close though. Trashley kept yeah, up. Yeah, he did well. Put Trashley the crown on up. you. Thought it was fun that game that Boo Boo gave us, but next time I'm taking you down, Auntie. Mark my words. I'm gonna do all the research on the housewives and Bravo people. <sighs> I don't need the crown. Oh, yeah, you do. The apple. (laughs) Yeah. Well, shoot. So that was our very first BYOS. That'll be different every single episode. Uh, And next next week, next episode is going to be Auntie. I'll be (laughs) BYOSing. I better bring a cack for that one. (gasps) As a cocktail. A rooster? Oh, Jesus. This <laughs> is the problem Lou. here. <laughs> oh, crack a cold one. And I get real drunk. And I go out and I mow my lawn. God, I just... Where do you guys... Well, chug it, because we got to go get a martini here. Oh, shh. <laughs> just kidding. Don't do it. Don't listen Don't to chug her. It. Peer pressure. Oh, <sighs> He just takes it literal. I know. That's you both do. Yeah. Oh, that was the wrong button. That was the wrong one. Where is it? Where is it? It worked. It worked for Ashley. It, Snoop Dogg. I love him. You can't not like. I it's mean, like an just like shades go on, and you're just like, um. yeah. Brings me back to some high school dances. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Good times. You heard. Good times. <laughs> all right. Well, is that all we got today? That was so funny. <laughs> so funny. Shit. Oh, okay. Night, night. should be fun. Podcast should be fun. Boo-boo. Fun. Not fun. Not fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, how do you guys usually end this? I mean, I guess <laughs> we could keep you for the next one. You bring me back? What are we going to talk about? Oh, lots of things. Well, we don't tell the people that. Oh, okay. They're going to have to freaking stay tuned. Mm-hmm. Stay tuned. Bunch All of right. bitches. Any you talking to us or the... the... <laughs> no, no, no. Well, yeah. guys... <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure get to be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, leave a comment down below telling us what your favorite and first reality television show was, and uh, hit that bell for notifications when new episodes are posted. Ding ding! I don't think I have. <laughs> Do you that. have a bell? Do I? Sure. That, are you going oh. to the races? <laughs> Off to the races. <laughs> that one was titled Celebrate. Uh, anywho. Are you flipping us off right now? <laughs> no, I was earlier, but you missed it. Oh, I did miss it. <laughs> yeah, you missed it. When you said I wasn't fun, I did it. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, anywho. <laughs> Follow us on all social media. At Malibu Nights Pod. At Malibu Nights. You can find us. We're the you podcast. Will. With the funny okay. people. Uh, shoot. But I think that's all we got for you guys today. And yeah. Thanks for fun. having me, guys. Yes. Thanks for thanks for being here. I guess you can come back. I'm so thankful. I was coming back anyway, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shoot. Someone's uh, got to keep you two in line. But does anybody else have anything to add? I don't think so. I don't think so. Cool. For another episode of Malibu Nights with your hosts, HB, Trashley, Trashley and Auntie. And And as always, (laughs) Night Night. Night Night. night. I think we need to work on that outro. I think it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. The auntie. auntie. Well, we can say Dr. HB, Reason. HB, <laughs> Trashley, and Auntie. Oh. Or I we mean, go, Trashley, HB. Auntie, auntie, Trashley, HB. Oh. I don't know yet. 
HB Auntie and Trashly. Oh. Yeah, uh, Trashly and Last makes sense. Night night. <laughs> Go to bed with Johnny. Dak Buster. Malibu, Malibu Nights. Will you talk dirty to me? Different unique takes on movies and TV shows. A word, because every episode is a drinking game built in. Always. Uh Is this the it puts the lotion on? <laughs> also in the news, we've got it's not a beauty bear. That is someone's booger. Ah, the Red Bull enhances the drunkness. Huh?